Hello guys, Banner here back with another Wayfinder video. So today we are going to go with an encounter, Broodmother Silhouette, uh, which is uh, the boss of the Codex Halls. We are going to go for maximum difficulty and two. Uh, two imbuements. If you ask me uh, why am I doing this boss uh, at uh, level 25, well, if you look at my echoes, you will see that I am still using the Broodmother echo in my weapon. So it is a fairly useful utility echo that provides you with a damage shield and the damage reduction. So uh, eventually I would like to have the epic version of this uh, echo while uh, currently I only have the common and uncommon. Now, if you ask me, are there any benefits to running the encounter with, with such higher level? Well, not really. As you will be power scaled to the event, it is not really trivial. It is not hard, but if you can see, I am being synced to 1253 power. Now, one word of advice before you go directly into the encounter. Do check out the surroundings, if there are any chests to open or any other stuff to pick up. Now in my imbuement selection, uh, it doesn't li really leave any uh, options for chests and such stuff, so we are going to go straight into the event. The encounter is uh, fairly straightforward. The broodmother will spawn some broodlings occasionally. Then she will cast some kind of a skill, uh, shield on herself, as you, you have seen. It's actually the team uh, of the Echo that same shield you get from the Echo. Now, as you have seen, I have broken her shield. High break damage will help with that, so now she will shield herself again, but also climb on top of the room. So now we have to deal with the second phase of the encounter with some of the brute spawns. As I am a supporty class, Wingrave doesn't have a 
large burst of damage with the expected uh, echoes and stuff so this takes a bit of time but on the upside you can see that uh, I'm not having any difficulties surviving So again I have broken her shield, this is an opportunity to do some extra damage I think. Okay, so now she doesn't take any damage. The broodlings need to be, the brood spawns need to be killed. Occasional counter is not a bad idea. Okay, and uh, third phase, uh, third phase, and this is the last last phase. Again we have the boss at the top of the room. She is breaking uh, gloom shards. So, uh, these pieces are falling on top of our heads, so, so to speak. Again, I think uh, DPS classes can push through this phase faster. And there it is. GG, so actually I got a vestige of Nis. Vestige of Nis will. That is a good drop. All three Gloomstone uh, chests. Vestige of Nisville, so uh, it's one of the parts necessary to build to summon the uh, the Nis Wayfinder. Now uh, I didn't notice, but I think I didn't get the epic version of the Broodmother's uh, Echo. Uh, still no epic or even rare uh, Broodmother's Silhouette Echo, meaning we have to farm her more. So that's it. I hope that this video uh, helped you, if that is the case please give it a like, 
and for more content like this, please follow my channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.